Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be comparing and showing you guys how to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz and the Brow Definer. The Brow Definer is her newest eyebrow product and as you guys know she is the brow queen of Beverly Hills and creates amazing eyebrow products. I tried her um, Dip Brow Pomade two years ago and I've been hooked ever since. It's an amazing product. Since then I picked up the Brow Wiz as well which I think was the first product that she launched. And then the brow definer came out in the last two months, I would say. So I've tried everything. I have a routine already that I have filmed for you guys a long time ago with the dip brow pomade. And I will link that down below if you guys want to see how to use that. It's like a moussey gel-like consistency, which you would use with a brush and, you know, sort of paint that into your brows. The Brow Wiz is her first eyebrow product. And it is a brow pencil with a very thin point. And it is retractable, which makes life a lot simpler. And on the other end, there is a spoolie to brush out your brows. Now, this was really hard for me to learn how to use at first. It definitely took a while. And I've done everything else besides use a pencil. I've always done eyeshadow on my brows. I've used the Dip Brow Pomade. But this took a really long time to get used to. But the thing about this is that it's harder and it's time consuming because the point is so fine. As you guys can see but due to that it gives you a very natural looking brow because you do small strokes and you can really get the brow that you really want so I think for people who really like a lot of precision and who want that super natural brow this is the best one also it's hard to go wrong with such a small point if you draw something too long you can sort of you know clean it up if you make something too dark you can clean it up because it's so small and fine and you know it's a little bit it's not even as dark, I feel like. I feel like you have to really press down to get the like to get the, the color that you want because if you want it to be that dark. So I find that making errors with this is much harder than with other eyebrow products. Also, the consistency of this is amazing. I love the formula of this. I've tried other brow pencils too, but the formula of this really sets it apart from others in my mind. This is $21. Then we have the Brow Definer, which is a thicker brow product. And actually, I don't think this is the first company to come out with a point of this shape. I think I've seen this somewhere before and actually used something like this before too. And then we have the spoolie, which the spoolie for this one is thicker and I like the spoolie better than the brow is. Now, this is $23 and it's a little bit more expensive. The product is definitely thicker. As you guys can see, the brow is point is much skinnier. And as a result, this is really good for people who want that thick brow. You can do it in no time. This is much faster because, again, the product is so thick and large that you can, you know, draw it on really quickly. This is going to give you a much darker application than the brow is, in my opinion. I somehow just find that I end up pushing down on this harder or this is more pigmented or something like that. But I get a much darker look with this one. And for people who want that dark bushy eyebrow sort of look this is very easy and it makes it just effortless to do that you don't have to think so much about the shape because due to the shape of this it, and you end up just following the natural shape of your brows and creating a brow even if you never used it before so i heard a lot about how people were obsessed with this and like this more than the brow is i can't say that's the case just because i feel like my brows end up looking a little bit more fake with this than with the brow is again i like the fact that you can you're it's more controlled with this than this one so i just prefer it more but what i'm going to do is show you guys how to create brows with both of them so you guys can see up close and personal how to do it also in case you guys are struggling with your shape and haven't figured that out yet then you should buy a stencil set this is also from anastasia and you get a bunch of stencils in here with different thicknesses that will sort of help you guide and figure out what kind of shape you want um, only because that's going to make your life easier when you're using such products because with a product like this, I mean, it's easy to use, but you need to figure out the shape beforehand. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in and show you guys how to fill in your brows. I'm going to do the brow whiz first and I'll go into the brow definer. I'm going to go ahead and clean this out. I like to do the bottom first just to get the thickness that I like and then fill in the rest. So here I've gone ahead and created my line as you guys can already see. And then I like to start brushing upward just because my hair up here literally grows upward. And then right here I'm going to 
draw my line out you want the corner of your eye and your brow to match so that's how long you want your eyebrow to be so now we've got the bottom and my tail done I'm gonna go to the top and actually start with this middle section and do really small strokes So here I'm missing some hair, so I've drawn that in and gotten that to look good. So now up here is where I'm going to go ahead and join it, but I want the line up here to be really faint because you want this front corner to be as natural as possible. So there you go. You can see the difference between this eyebrow and this one. Next I'm going to go into the brow definer and do the other eyebrow. Brush this out. And then I've got my point. I've taken out about that much. And I'm laying it down again, starting with the bottom. I'm doing exactly what I did on that eyebrow with this one. Also, on this eyebrow, this area is a little bit thinner, so I'm going to have to you know, go outside the lines a bit and make it a bit thicker. So as you guys can see, I just drew on this bottom part of my brow. And now for the tail, I'm gonna go ahead, create this arch first, and then with light strokes, create the tail. So now we've got the tail and we've got this bottom part done. So now for the top, I like to start again towards the middle Okay, we've got all the entire brow done except for this inside corner. So here I like to hold the pencil upward and do little strokes to fill that in. And then if you notice, this pencil has a point on one end that's really fine right here. So I'm gonna use that point to get this corner. There you go. So both the eyebrows are done with two different products. And now you guys can see, I feel like this one's a bit darker. Like right here, it's a bit darker to me. But overall, it's easy to get a very similar look, but this one does look to me like it's more drawn on than this one. So I've gone ahead and zoomed out so you guys can see what they look like. Let me know what you guys think. I also have noticed here right now that I can see it in the mirror that this one looks like the product has hit the skin more than the hair. Over here, I feel like the brow is, the product is more on the hair. The reason for why I say that is because I can see more of the hair still taking its natural shape here and here I almost can't see the natural hair as much. It almost looks like that means that this consistency would be more wet, more um, waxy to sort of press this into the skin as opposed to just dyeing the hair. And for me, whenever I do people's makeup, I like to use eyeshadow instead of any of these products because I always notice that ends up dyeing the hair as opposed to the skin which makes for a much more real life, natural looking brow. So that's just my two cents on that. So they're both great products. This might be a better product for a beginner just because it is much easier to use than any of the other brow products I've ever used. But I do think that with the ease of application comes the opportunity for more mistakes because you move a lot quicker with this. If you guys noticed, this took me like a minute and something to get done. This probably took me 45 seconds to do. So it's much quicker. So if you guys are new, you guys might wanna try this one out. And if you guys have already tried this out, I'd love to know your thoughts. And I hope you guys enjoyed learning about these two brow products. And I would love to know what your thoughts are down below. Don't forget to give this a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do that. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media channels, um, Instagram, Twitter, all of that. So that way you guys can see what I'm up to every day. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.